Hey guys, hey everyone, how are y'all doing out there? You know it's your girl Twin D, and if you never know, now you know. Thank you so, so much for stopping by the channel. Thank you all for being here. I love the support, and that's why I keep coming back to help you guys and to guide you on your Twin Flame journey. So, thank you all for your support. Now let's get straight into your message and let's see what your masculine's next steps are. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, guys, let's, let's, let's see. Let's jump in. Let's see what's going on with your masculines, what your next steps are. Divine masculines, what you're going to do, what you're planning on doing, let us know, please. <laughs> yeah, because that's what we want to know. What, what, you, what are you about to do? What are you about to do? <laughs> All right, divine masculines, what's up with you? What's up with you? What's your next steps, please? You have the boat. Somebody's moving on. Somebody is moving on. So some of your divine masculines will be moving on from situations here that are no longer serving their ass. And I saw one, two, three. So this is something that, I, I well, whatever is going to come after this movement, somebody needs to prepare for that. Somebody needs to prepare for that because there's going to be a new start. Your person here is moving on because there's no closure issue with something and we all know what that is. <laughs> I, do I need to say it? <laughs> we all know what that is. They got closure issues with the divine feminine. So like what the hell am I doing standing here when I, I, I need to go I need to go back to where 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 I'm coming from. They know something isn't done. They know something is not over here. But they're moving on from something. Okay, moving on. What else can you tell me, Divine Masculines? <laughs> you have kisses. So this is falling in love. I told you they're moving on to something here. They know that this connection with you and them is not done. It's not over. And this person is coming in to give you some love in here. <laughs> they're coming in to give you some love. You're like your divine masculines, they're falling in love over and over and over again. I'm hearing that song. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. I don't know, you guys don't know those gospel songs. You guys don't listen to gospel music. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know them. <laughs> All right. But your your divine masculines, you're finally moving on. That's your next step. Moving on and they're moving on to this thing. I'm sorry. This person that they left in the past that they know nothing is completed with. Nothing. I'm not done with you yet. I'm not done with you yet. I ain't going nowhere. I was just in my ego, you know, trying to figure things out. Trying to figure things out. Trying to see things differently and more clearly. But now I'm back. Now I'm back. What's your next step, Divine Masculine? Talking. Conversing more. Ooh, a waiting message arrived. I told you, these Divine Masculines, they're coming in, man. They're coming to, to, to talk to you. I want to say something. Would you listen to me? Divine Feminine. Could you spare me a little moment and hear what I'm trying to say to you, huh? Can you? Can you spare me a little moment? I want to... Lady! Sir! I'm talking to you! Can you spare me a little moment? Like me, masculine, you're talking to me? I didn't know you wanted to talk to me. If you would listen, you would have known and heard that I want to talk to you. <laughs> your divine masculines they're gonna text you they're gonna call you they're gonna show up 
Because what are they doing? They're moving on. They're moving on. It's time for a different life. It's time for a different life. These are my masculines are awakening here. Okay. Okay, baby. Let's see what else is going on here. You get addiction and you and you have abundance. Yeah. So your divine masculines, they were definitely codependent here. Whether it was on somebody that they were in a relationship with, people around them, their, their insecurities, their negative thoughts. And like I was saying a while ago, their ego. Their ego. Their ego played a big part in them walking away from you. But now they're moving on to their abundance, to prosperity. Their mindset has changed. Their mindset has, it, it, it has changed. Because before they were in this ego energy, right? They were in this ego energy. I was so shocked by this love. I don't know what to do. It caused me to just move away and to go be with somebody else until I figure out what what's happening. Like bullshit. <laughs> bullshit, you know, bullshit, I call it. But anyways, your divine masculines, their mindset has changed and that's why they're not able to move on. That's why they're not able to see the truth. That's why they're not ready to give you that love that you so deserve. And they're also ready to receive that love that they so deserve. Because the love you were giving to them. Oh, I can't handle this. This is too much. This is way too much. I don't, I, I've never felt anything like, and nobody has ever loved me like this. Is this person a liar? What did this person do to me? Are you charming me? What happened here? I don't know, but I got to get away from it. Let me go see if Jane or John can love me the same way. And then I'll know that this person was just fooling me. Boy, are you crazy. <laughs> You crazy. Ain't gonna find this love nowhere. Ain't gonna find this love nowhere. Nowhere but over here. <laughs> You're divine masculines, man. I want my love back. That's their energy. They want their love back. They sabotage themselves. But now they're gonna rebuild. Now they're gonna start over. They're working on themselves. They're working on bettering their lives. And lightning. Shocking news. They are like, yeah man, yeah man, yeah man, yeah man, yeah man. I told you they're coming in with that message. Some of you are going to be shocked to receive a message from this person. They have undergone a sudden change. That's because their mindset has changed. Their mindset has changed. They are transforming. They have come to that realization. Oh my God, I cannot find this love anywhere. What was I doing? I was just running because of my ego. Because I was scared. Because nobody ever loved me that way before. So instead of running, accept it, receive it. That's what you've always been dreaming of. True love. And now that you found it, you, you threw it away. I idiot. Like I have no sense. <laughs> no worry, masculines. We know you don't have any sense. We know. That's why we're taking it easy on you. We know. And because we know we don't have no sense either. But I'm not going to admit to that one. I'll just keep telling you that you have no sense. <laughs> <laughs> because guess what the masculine they're you right so if they don't have no sense you don't have no sense but i'm not gonna admit it <laughs> i'll just continue telling them they don't have no sense like why can't you see why why couldn't you see that i truly love you but why did you have to go through all that hurt and pain before you could see that i truly loved you and that's because they have to figure things out on their own but they figure it out. They figure it out. And you have passion, insane chemistry, like each other, equally having fun. So you see, they're realizing the same way I feel about this person, they feel about me. It's, it, it's, a give, it's a give and take situation and it's even. It's even. This intense love that I had felt for this person, it was true, it was real. So, John and Jane, you ain't it. You ain't it. 
I got to go back to my person. I got to go find my person. If I got to go on a boat to get to them, I'm going to go there. I'm going to get there. Their mindset has changed. It's their ego that has changed. I think my cards are lean. Give me something on this boat, please, Father God, in regards to these masculines. Next step, what is this boat, please? What are they moving on from or whatever it is they're moving on to? What's going on here with this boat? You got the three of pentacles. So they want to work things out with you, Divine Feminine. They're planning on coming towards you because they want to work things out with you. These Divine Masculines, they're in their power. They now feel like I can do, I can become anything I want. I'm in control of my life. I have been working on myself and now I'm seeing clearly and I can make that move. This person is going to approach you. This person wants to spend a lifetime with you. This person wants to be happy with you. They're going to take you out. This, yeah, they want to take you out. They want to show you that I'm a good person. They want to show you that. What about these kisses, please? And them falling in love. Yeah, man, they're coming in, rushing in, and I'm seeing one, one, one. They have this passion in their heart for you, and they're rushing in with that passion, guys. Like I said, this person, they're going to want to move towards you. They're going to want to build with you here. They want to work together, together, you and me, to build. Everything we, we plant is going to grow. And we're going to reap beautiful rewards from it. Because this love that we both have for each other, it's balanced. It's equal. What about this talking? Hmm? They miss you so much. They miss you so much. I got to talk to this person. I got to talk to this person. I miss this person so much. You've been on their mind. You've been on their mind. Yeah, I miss you. I miss you. And I realize that I miss you. I, I mean, I realize I, I, this pain in my heart is caused from me missing you. It's from me missing you. So I got to fix it. I got to fix it. What about this addiction, please? And this obsession that they're going through. Mm-hmm. It was a third party man like damn it yeah yeah codependency karmic partners karmic parents karmic friends karmic jobs their own negative thoughts addictions yep that's it but look at this man you got the five of pentacles here so so even though they stuck with those things that that they release you for they still felt left out in the cold. They still felt depleted. They still felt like they, they weren't worth anything. Even though they were hanging on to those karmic situations, karmic people and addictions. So that's why their mindset had to change. Because those few little moments they spent with you. Was a, it was the happiest moments of their lives. And I'm so heartbroken when I'm not with you. I thought I'd be okay hanging on to these addictions and these karmic partners and all these negative things in my life, but I'm not okay. I'm not okay. It hurts more. And this is, this is them. They're talking to themselves. They're telling themselves the truth. They're now accepting the truth. And that's why their mindset has changed here. What about this mindset? Tell me more about this. The hangman in the reverse and the page of cups. So like I said, they refuse to accept that love. They refuse to see the truth. So they kept hanging on. They kept hanging on to those addictions and those karmic people. They kept listening to their karmic friends. They kept listening to their karmic parents. They kept listening to their ego. Because if, if, if your parents are telling you something and uh, you're gonna um, you're gonna listen to them because they're they're my parents, you know. I can't disrespect my parents for somebody out there. But at the same time. If your parent really, yeah, confirmation, if your parent really wanted good for you, they would really see that you are hurting in the position that you are at. 
and if they really don't want their child to be hurt, to be living in misery, they would see things their children's way so their children can be happy. That's how it is. It doesn't matter how much I want for my child. If I see my child is hurting and my child is saying that they're hurting, because if you don't tell your parent I'm hurting, like, Mom, Dad, listen, I know you want me to stay in this relationship, but I'm hurting. This person is mistreating me. This person is not treating me good. I want to be happy. If you were telling them that and they still push you, and stay, stay, you know, you're already there. I mean, you, you have children together. I mean, you have this business together. I mean, you started a life, whatever, you've been there for 10 years, but I wasn't happy. I was miserable. If you want your child to be happy, you would see these things. And that's what they should look at as well. If my parent really wanted me to be happy, then they would want the best for me. But sometimes our parents, guys, it's because they've been through similar situations where somebody walked out on them. Somebody hurt them. So it's like, why do you want to do like that person did to me? Why? It's like, your father walked out on me. So why do you want to walk out on your, your wife, your girlfriend, your baby mama? Why do you want to do the same? Why do you want to follow in your, in your dad's footstep? Why do you want to follow in your mom's footstep? And to make them happy, the masculines, they stay. To make the parent happy. A, a lot of us, every one of us would, would stay in a, in a situation to make our parents happy. Because they're our parents. But at the same time, I want to be happy. Are you going to make the decision for your parent? Or are you going to make the decision for your life? Hmm. Think about it. Your masculines, they're coming in with that offer, guys. They want peace. They want joy. They want success. Notice the doves. They just want to be happy. They were refusing to open up their eyes. They were refusing to see these things that they needed to see more clearly. Clearly, They were just refusing to. Mm -hmm. But now it's done. Now it's all over. Closing out that cycle. For some of your divine masculines, these endings took part over that full moon that happened the other day. Whatever it was. You know. Whatever it was. But they're putting things to an end. And they're healing their broken heart. Because I want to be loved. I want to be loved. That's what they're looking for. Your masculines are healing. And their next step is approaching you. And the death energy. Guys, some of your divine masculines may have definitely even experienced a loss. And this is the second time I'm getting this message. They may have experienced a loss. So the reason that I could have been talking about that parent issue is because some of them, they could have lost a parent here. They could have lost a parent. Oh my God, 18, 18. My condolences here. But there was definitely an ending here. With these divine masculines. And now they're moving forward. All right, guys, let's see. Give me some truth on this message in regards to your divine, God's divine masculines. <laughs> Our divine masculines. Give me some truth, please, Father God. Message is coming in, baby. There you go. There you go. Surrender the how. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Give me one more, please. Those messages are coming back and dreaming. Thinking about you. Yeah. They can't stop thinking about you guys. They're coming in to make things right. Let's start over. Let's start over and seeing signs and synchronicities. They're being pushed. Amen. Being pushed. Yeah. True love, baby. True love. This is true love. Yeah. Like I said, all the research they've been doing with Tom, Dick, and Harry, and Jane, and, 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 and Jessica. Hey, they're going to figure out everything. This is true love. Nobody else loves me like you do. 
This has been your message, everyone. To purchase your book or a reading, go to twindflamed.square.site. And I have the messages from your masculines on special right now. So you can purchase on my website, twindflamed.square.site. 22, 22 Canadian, 16 something US, 14 something in pounds. All right. Go to my website. The links are in the description box below. Go to my twindflamed.square.site to purchase your readings and all the other links are there for your precious stone jewelry and your bath and body products all right love you guys take care of yourself the next message will be on the screen you can press what is it play now and then you can set your reminder so you don't miss it all right let go let god and i see you at your next message later